Hey guys, a year ago today on January 13th, 2023, we lost a, our good friend Chris. So we wanted to put this video together in honor of him. We are going to share his story and then following that, team members and family are going to share, share their favorite memories of Chris. Christopher Allen Bushhausen was born on March 9, 1985 in Oaklawn, Illinois. After graduating from high school in 2003, he enlisted in the U.S. Army. He was stationed all over the United States from Colorado to Virginia to Kentucky. He served in Iraq for Operation Iraqi Freedom from 2004 to 2005. After returning to Indiana, Chris received his associate's degree in cr criminal justice. He became a deputy for the Marion County Sheriff's Office and then a resource officer at local schools. Chris loved his family more than anything. His mother, Margaret, stepfather, Eugene, brother, Ryan, and his four kids, Jacob, Matthew, Autumn, and Adriana, were his whole world. He loved taking his kids to amusement parks and seeing them enjoy the same things he loved. Chris was a roller coaster enthusiast and together with Jacob Hobbs created a group called Midwest Coaster Fans, which soon transitioned to thorough rides. Chris, along with teammates, enjoyed traveling to amusement parks around the US and creating content for others to watch and enjoy. He also enjoyed spending time with his family, visiting museums, trying new foods, watching movies, and listening to music. Some of his favorite bands were the Red Hot Chili Peppers and Three Doors Down. On January 13th, 2023, around 1 a.m., police were dispatched to a residential area on the east side of Indianapolis on a report of shots fired. Officers arrived on the scene in under two minutes and found Chris in his vehicle. He has been shot multiple times and was pronounced dead at the scene. There is no word on what led up to the shooting or suspect information. The only information known at this time is that Chris was driving for Uber. Chris was an incredible human being and taken from this earth way too soon. We here at Thrill Rides, along with his family, miss him dearly. We know he is still watching over us and riding every roller coaster with us. We urge anyone with information on this shooting to contact Indianapolis Metropolitan Police Department or Crime Stoppers at 317-262-TIPS, T-I-P-S. We will not rest until Chris's case is solved. Hey guys, Dustin here from the Third Rights team. I want to say that my favorite memories of Chris was back in 2020 when we had our impromptu trips. Our first trip was in January January of 2020. Uh, we went to Minneapolis to the Mall of America for Nickelodeon Universe. And on the way there, we actually did drive through the snowstorm. And that was fun. But and another, another trip that we did is in June of 2020 we went to Mount Olympus because it was the only park open due to COVID and Chris and I had to get our roller coaster fix in and another thing I want to say is I am forever grateful for Chris if it wasn't for Chris I would not be here on the team and I would have never met the amazing friends I have now. I would have, I would have never met Jacob. I would have never met Annika, Joe, Zach, and a few others. So thank you, Chris. You don't know how much it means to me for, for, for that to happen. Anyway, Chris, I miss you. It's not the same without you. And I uh, will see you on the other side. So one of my favorite moments with Chris was probably one of the first times I ever got to meet the wonderful gentleman. It was um, after we had been talking back and forth on one of our Indiana Beach pages. We met up at Indiana Beach and just hung out for the day and we talked and it was kind of cool to meet somebody and for the first time and who was as big into roller coasters as I was. That was probably one of my first great memories of Chris. 
following that we had another great trip at Hershey Park um, first time there it was media day for Candemonium me Annika and him shortly after COVID and that was just a really great day and to see him happy to be just so excited about everything was just out of this world minus Sky Rush turning his shirt blue he was not too fond about that another great memory I have is probably when we went to Holiday World for our first media event which was well actually I think it was our second media event but it was our first media event for Holiday World and it was for Cheetah Chase before it opened up which was really great just a great experience and to see him so thrilled about something that he'd never seen before which was pretty cool and then probably one of my all-time favorite memories of Chris is when we were at Indiana Beach for our first get-together that we did with everybody <laughs> It was just great to see everybody come together and to have a great day at the park just to see smiling faces all day long and to watch Chris laugh and just enjoy being in this place that got him into roller coasters to begin with was just out of this world. There's a few more and actually there's a lot more memories I can just keep going on and on but I'm going to try to keep it within a few minutes. Um, one thing I would like to say is I, when I lost Chris, it, I know a lot of people lost Chris, but when I lost Chris, I definitely lost a piece of me, and it's been really hard over this past year, and it, and it doesn't get any easier. Hey everybody, it's Annika here from Thrill Rides. Um, I'm just here to share one of my favorite memories of Chris. Um, that would have to be our team trip to Cedar Point back in 2019. Um, it was around Halloween time, so of course we were riding all the rides and doing all the haunts and having a good time. Um, of course there were clowns wandering around everywhere, which everybody knows by this point that I hate clowns. Um, and Chris thought that it was just absolutely hilarious every time that I ran away from one. Um, by the end of the night, he even convinced me to take a picture with a clown for the first time ever in my life. Um, and then we camped at a nearby KOA. Um, and then just getting to sit next to the fire and chat with the rest of the team. And then we attempted to cook brats over the campfire, which is not a great idea um because they literally never cook um and then um just laughing with the rest of the team and um being with them is one of my favorite memories um since the beginning of thrill rides hey this is joe from thrill rides um we're shooting little videos here to uh honor chris as it's been almost a year since he's been taken from us uh, one of my best memories with Chris is just us talking football. I got him into betting on football, which turned him into uh, a crazy football better. And then he was betting Russian basketball and all sorts of crazy stuff. But, uh, I mean, on a Sunday like today with all these games up in the air and teams playing for spots in the playoffs, we'd be texting back and forth and placing some bets on DraftKings and doing all that good stuff and just talking football, waiting for the coaster off season to end so we can go ride some roller coasters and have a good time. And I, of course, will be riding some roller coasters in Chris's honor this year, as always, along with the rest of the Thrill Rides guys. Um, definitely when Indiana Beach opens a triple loop, we'll be there to ride it and leave an empty seat for the man. Uh, just want to say we miss you, Chris, and we're always thinking about you. Zach here from Phil Vibes. I just want to bust my time with Chris. After we busting our time we had together since losing him on January 13th, 2023, I first met Chris in 2018, I believe. Over three years, I knew him. He went fast. After Chris was becoming best friends and talking to him through texts and phone calls pretty much daily, <clears throat> I would feel good to have spent we knew him in Texas, which is probably my favorite memory with him. It was great being able to do something that Chris loved doing. Building new places, attending Halloween events, and of course, eating good food. Got to experience Seville San Antonio, ZDTs, and the best in Flagstock, Fiesta, Texas. 
all three parts of which neither of us had been to before. There are videos on our channel showing that amazing trip the beast of the those out. To keep this sort, the couple of years I had with Chris will never be forgotten. That was trip, the bus coaster rides, the good meals, and the many, many captains. Even though 2023 comes season that dedicated Chris is over, I will still be writing for Chris. Chris, I miss you. You will never be forgotten. Hey Chris, I miss you. I love you. I love you so, so much. Um, your beautiful friends are making this video for you on your one year angel anniversary. One year without you. It's been a hard year without you, Chris. And I want you to know that you are so missed. You are so loved. We are praying every day to get justice. And we know you're watching over us. Keep watching over us. Keep watching over your mom, your kids, your beautiful kids your family, your friends. We all miss you. We all love you so much. Um, we're all here to share beautiful memories. Um, one of mine is definitely playing wrestling with you, um, having those bonding moments, playing basketball with you and daddy, watching you be a big brother to Ryan. I, I cherish those memories forever. Um, and the last thing you had said to me on Instagram, we were trying to get together and you um, said I was such a great teacher and that you were so proud of me for what I do. And I, I'll never forget that. Um, and I thank you for your love. I will never get that back and I miss you. And I can't wait to hug you again. Hi. I'm Chris's mom, Margaret. As many of you know, I want to start by saying thank you all for doing the memories and videos of Chris and always being there, especially this last year. You guys are all in my heart. Thank you so much. And my favorite memory of Chris is going to SeaWorld with him on a two and a half day vacation pretty much, no sleep, to Las Vegas and California, and it was awesome. And we actually have a video on one of his uh, places that he went to. And that was one of my favorite memories, it was so cool. So you guys can all go back and look on that video when he went to SeaWorld. I cannot remember the roller coaster we rode but he went to go take a video of the one they were building, which I think was the pipeline or something like that. But that is one of my favorite memories of my son. And also the first time he went on a big roller coaster, which was the Batman ride at Great America. We went on opening day pretty much and stood in line for two and a half hours. So Chris loved roller coasters from the time he was probably three years old and up. So. But once again, thank you all so much. And them were pretty much just a couple of my favorite memories. And now to his dad. Okay. <laughs> my favorite memory of Chris, he was 16. And I asked him, hang on to this piece of rope. Do not let it go loose. Otherwise it's gonna cause problems. He had a flagpole that went like this and the rope was over here and I was hanging on to that rope too well uh, he did not hang on to that rope and I went 10 feet in the air and the uh, antenna crashed to the ground and blew in a million pieces and he thought I was going to be mad at him and I just was happy that nobody got hurt it was funny that's my favorite memory. We have a lot of favorite memories of Chris, which I'm sure you all do too. So I'm looking forward to seeing and hearing everybody's memories about Chris and seeing all your faces and everybody that Chris mingled with and got to know. And 
you guys all touched his life and he touched yours. And I want to thank everybody once again. Hey guys, I just want to say on behalf of the Third Rights team and Chris's family, thank you so much for all the love and support that you guys have shown us this last year. And in honor of Chris, since Chris was that type of person that would give his shirt off his back if that's the last thing he had, I want to challenge every single one of you to go out today and do something nice for somebody, whether it be a friend, a family, or even a complete stranger. It's something Chris would love to see happen. Again, thanks for all the love and support.